you join my channel, check out the subscribes to the various other obviously but you can gap TV telegram. So uh, here's they're, they're glad to swap out blonde hair blue eye guys when they uh when they uh when they can erase them. Otherwise otherwise not so much. So Constantine Part two is coming out and if you have well if you have abandoned hope all you enter here it's 2022. You're not the odds of you getting the odds of you getting a good movie are slim. The odds of Constantine Part Two being an exception to the rule, uh, not very good. And then you look, oh, so J.J. Abrams and uh, uh, some something uh, Goldsman are, are working on it. Okay, well, just don't don't even bother. Don't even just consider they never made a sequel because, the, yeah, there's no way it couldn't be woke. Keep in mind, this was in 2005, the original, which m most people liked. So it's a it's an Abrahamic religion based in the Middle East. You know, if you go back thousands of years ago to the the, the rough origins of these you know moon religions, um, and it's Middle Eastern. So the deities are going to be should be formed after these Middle Eastern characters, but you made the devil a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy in a crisp white suit this was in 2005 the imagery i mean you should like in 2005 nobody was paying attention to this kind of stuff but in current year you look back on this and go oh that was that was woke back then it's like it's a middle eastern religion and you use the blonde hair blue eyed swedish actor to play the devil and not only that you put him in a blue suit gosh that's a little bit that's a little bit weird and that was in 2005 so this new thing is coming out in you know 2023 probably or 2024 it's going to be insufferable. It's it's going to be completely unwatchable. And let me mention something else a little bit weird. You start noticing this stuff, and once you start noticing, it, it, like you you just can't go back to sleep in the Matrix. It's um, uh, John Wick. People like keep people like Keanu Reeves and like his movies. He makes fun movies because he doesn't like he doesn't bring too much personality into the movies. He's kind of an everyman character, which sounds like sounds like an insult, but it's not. Um, John Wick. People like. So keep in mind, they fought the Russians. They, they were the antagonists in the first one. I don't know how long ago that came out, but um, how do I say this carefully? There are, are other more probable antagonists from other regions of the world you could have picked. Uh, one of the reasons I, I'm guessing they picked the, the Russians, unless it's canon in the comic books, though, I mean, he's the, the character's blonde hair, blue eyed, so they have, no they have no problem breaking canon using a, a mixed Asian guy to play the role. And, and you know, he, I thought he did a great job, but I also wasn't a fan. I didn't. Uh, I'm not that familiar with the comic book, so yeah. Um, but if they're willing to break canon for that, but they're my point. Is, how do I say this? They use they use Russians as the antagonists for a reason, and not for a political reason, but because of the way they looked. It's the same reason they'll use. Um, oh, hey, a German terrorists took over a building. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> It's okay, <laughs> but, you know, it's like the statistical improbable event that happens to come up every single time in Hollywood. Uh, the Wonder Woman 84 scene, the blonde haired blue eyed guys in a park in a suit and tie drinking, you know, with an overcoat, well dressed, right? And she's jogging through the park. And this is set in America. And if you're not, you don't live in America, you don't understand why this is weird. This isn't some Northern European country where that would be normal. You could, or some country where you could possibly fall asleep overnight in a park, assuming you wouldn't freeze to death and you'd wake up and you'd just be fine. Your wallet would still be there. Your clothes would still be there. This is America. You can't do that in America. So like that scene, it's such a Wonder Woman 84 is actually a really important movie, but not for the reasons they think it is. If I would love to do a watch along party and just point out every bizarro scene, it'd be like five hours long. Um, in, in the statistical improbability of him twice, suit and tie in a park, it's like his, his life expectancy, you know, is, is, a, is, is a mosquito over a lake at, at sunset. It's just, it's insane. And, but not only that, like not only to not show him being the victim, he's, he's, a, he's the victimizer, he's the abuser. Blonde hair, blue eye guy in a suit and tie in a park in America at night. He's the one who's going to commit a battery against a woman. And I keep mentioning it because if you don't know how statistically improbable that is, and it's not just one scene in a movie, it seems like that you see in movies over and over and over again to the point of, oh, hey, so Abrahamic Middle Eastern religion, blonde hair, blue eyed guy in a white suit. Oh, that's weird. That's weird to represent the Middle Eastern guy. Well, yeah, because it's, you know, it's the worst character on earth. It's Lucifer. It's, you know, in that, those three religions, it's the opposition. It's filth, corruption, and he did a great job. Don't get me wrong, but 
it's uh, it's not a Swedish religion or Northern European, Scandinavian, Norse gods. Why wouldn't she use someone fitting the role of the character? It's like, because they, they hate blonde hair white people so much that they even swapped Keanu Reeves out, a dark hair, dark eyed character, um, for the character in the comic book who's blonde hair, blue eyed. And then instead of making the devil as he's portrayed around the world as a uh, um, black or red, because humans have a problem with nighttime because humans aren't good at night. That's why that's why dark and black is portrayed so negatively. It doesn't have anything to do with humans like people. Uh, even in African mythology, it's the same presentation uh, of the devil um, is is going to be is going to be dark because humans don't do well at night. They fear the night. But um, even this is 2005. They made this movie using a blonde hair, blue eyed Swedish actor to play a Middle Eastern deity. It's like, oh, so it seems like they they swapped out. They race swapped the characters for, for Keanu Reeves, John Constantine character. They got rid of the blonde hair, blue eyed because he was the he was a good guy. And they swapped out the devil instead of making him logically, you know, a Middle Eastern guy. And um, they swapped out him and they made him a blonde hair, blue eyed guy. In a white suit. Oh. It really, really activates the almonds. really makes you think. And in 2005, I wasn't thinking about this. Man, I was asleep. You weren't thinking about this either, I don't think. I don't think most of the people were thinking about this. But you think about it now because people are noticing things now. And you go back and you start watching these old... You start thinking about these old movies and you go, Oh, it's kind of unwatchable now to see, like, you just... You, it's a love-hate relationship. Like the people in Hollywood, they love, fear, and hate blonde hair, blue-eyed people with this incandescent, genocidal fear and hatred. But they also think they're gods because they put them in these roles as the antagonists over and over again. It sounds like some of the things I'm saying, I, I admittedly sound weird. If I, if I was saying this stuff five years ago, I wouldn't have got it. But until you notice, like you read enough of these comics... To the point where you don't have to read comics or watch movies where you just look at the cover. You go, oh, uh, blonde hair, blue eyed character on the left hand side of the cover uh, and a, uh, uh, a non-white character on the right hand side of the cover. Oh, there's your antagonist and protagonist. Oh, what's the correlation? Oh, like 99%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just how that's how accurate it is. It's like, well, you don't have to be a genius to be able to extrapolate from, from there. It's like, so why would I read the comic if, this, if the, the question is asked and answered on the cover? Because I can tell you who the antagonist protagonists are. And I can tell you with movies too. Oh, hey, blonde hair, blue eyed guy in a white suit. Oh, he's Lucifer. And you, you got rid of the blonde hair, blue eyed John Constantine and made him a you know mixed race, mixed Asian race guy. Who did, I thought he did a great job, but you get what I'm saying with this. It's like, this was in 2005. What do you think 2022, 2023, uh, the, the new movie comes out? It's going to be insane, man. It's going to be... <laughs> Uh, Tilda Swanton was one of the angels in the first one. She did a great job too. It's going to, you're not going to be able to watch this. It's, it's just going to be, uh, wait for it to come out online. Odyssey bitch you, one of those, one of those solar one, two, three type of sites, uh, where you can, I don't know, check it out if you want. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next episode. Yes. Yes. No.